Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Safwan and today I'll be showing you how to add timeline to your power pages. Now you might have come across timeline in your model driven apps. Now this is what a typical timeline looks like. You can add in um, activities, you can add in um, like upload, a doc upload documents and notes and things like that, right? Now this is great. So what we ideally want to do is take this across to our power pages. Now there is one downside to this, which is in Power Pages, you can only have one type of timeline. You can either have the notes timeline, so this is the attachment timeline, um, or you can have the activities timeline. Now, I don't know why they have this, but, but basically in the documentation, it's written that um, the ability to display both notes and activities on the same form for a custom table is not currently supported. Now, I haven't tried it with you know an out of the box table, but most of the time I require it for my custom tables, so really they should fix it. Um, that would be really helpful, but together on it, you can have um, different forms or what I sometimes do is I have the activities timeline showing because it looks pretty neat. And then for the notes, I have just a table, uh, a subgrid basically on the form, and that then shows up on Power Pages. But this is what the notes timeline looks like, and this is what the activity timeline looks like. So in this video, I'll show you the six steps that's required to add in timeline to your Power Pages. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the entity table and go to the properties. So in my case, I want to add timeline to the request table. I need to make sure that I've got the activities tick. This one here, create creating a new activity. This basically allows you to add in the timeline to your model-driven app and you know get all those nodes or activities flowing in the other thing you want to do is when you create the table you may also want to enable attachments so this is required if you want the nodes timeline so that was step one step two is going into the forms and creating the form and adding the timeline in so in my case request timeline this contains the nodes timeline so i went in and i added in the timeline now just an fyi all these settings you see on the right for the timeline. These are all focused on the model driven app uh, timeline. This does not really affect your Power Pages timeline in any way. And that's the tricky bit. So I'll show you how to fix this. But once you've added your timeline, step three is to add in the form into your Power Pages. So you can obviously do that through the Power Pages uh, Design Studio, but I prefer it to do it through the portal management just because I need to add in a couple of other settings for the timeline itself. So now go to basic setting, basic forms and add in a new form. So I'll name this request notes timeline. So it's table. Okay, so after I fill up all this basic stuff, the next thing is to do in step three is to go into basic form and add in the timeline metadata. So the timeline, and over here you've got a couple of options. So things like wh you, whether you want um, users to um, create new timeline entries, so notes or activities. So I want that, so I'm going through, and then you can set in a bunch of other stuff here, like like the type of extensions and the size and so on. Then I can save and close this. And now what I can do is go back to my Power Page, and I can add in the form here. I can see I've got my request notes timeline, and then I can go sync, and then this is the page where my timeline then appears. One thing on this page is that this is an edit page, so you need to pass in the ID of your record in the query parameters. So now in this step, when you actually open up the form, you might see um, it says that nothing to show, show here or table permissions are not set up. So that's our step five. We need to go to our table permissions and add in the permissions. Now, I normally go through it this way because it sort of shows the parent-child relation as well in this view in the new Design Studio. Um, but you can also do it through the portal management system. So depending on the timeline you want, you need to add in those sort of table permissions. For example, if you want the notes timeline only, all you need to do is add in the notes table permission. Now, I have set this to global for the time being uh, because I just want to make sure that it works. But when you're actually going live, you would want to um, decrease the scope of this permission. I won't go into table permission security in too much detail in this video, but 
um, let me know if you want me to go across that in a later video. Now, if you want to add in, let's say, the activities timeline, which is this one over here, where you have um, like the phone activity, custom activities, and so on, and the portal comment as well, which is this one, there are two tables that you want to add in. The first one is the activities table, which is over here. Now, it's just called activity, activity pointer table, and again, I've given it global permissions. The second one you want to add in is this portal comments permission. Now, this one, um, if you give the create permissions, you will get this create button here. If you don't give the create permissions, you won't see, basically. Okay, so once you've done those permissions, you should see some kind of timeline appear. It might be notes or it might be activities. Um, so in most cases, you probably would have this activities timeline showing up and not the notes timeline. And you might think that, okay, you can, um, you know, go into this model driven form and click on notes, you know, tick notes, or you might have this already ticked and it's not showing up because this does not define what shows up on Power Pages. Now it's sad, but this is the way I normally do it. So I go to switch to classic. And this opens up um, the advanced form of the legacy way of, you know, doing working with the forms. And once this opens up, find your um, timeline, which is most of the time this one. Double click on it. And then over here, you can decide, okay, you know, how many nodes you want to display. And then this one is the tricky one where um, under web client properties, this one might say activities, just change that to notes and click OK and save and publish. And that's going to then um, change the timeline for your web page to show the notes timeline instead of the activities timeline. Now, just to show you how I got this activities timeline, this is my, um, this is my another form, which is request activities. And if I go to classic forms you will see over here I have web pro web client properties and I've got this default tab selected to activities and because of this I have this activity showing up in this one form and then the other form because I have it saved as notes I have the notes showing up in the timeline and that's all the time we have for this video thank you for listening in um, hopefully that was useful if it was please share to like and share